Hey guys, this is SpiritMonk187 and welcome back for another match of Shadow Era where we are going to play Shattered Fates, the beta. And I just played one match and I built a hilarious deck with 72 cards or something. And we have won the first match, <laughs> 97 rating points and 137 score points. But it's just about figuring out, figuring out all the cards and it's pretty hard because all of the allies are placeholders or all of the cards so you can't see all of the cards it's pretty stupid because you now these cards look the same but they are pretty pretty different so what we have here is a fortified wisp all damage to fortified wisp is reduced by two kills an ally it gains plus one attack and the last match I win won the match because of I played the fortified wisp but after that done a strike constructed when I summon it, an opposing ally is reduced by 2 and this fortified twitch gets plus 2 attack. Okay, so let's just go through this pretty quick. This card, 5 resource, all items are destroyed. Let's get rid of that and end turn. So yeah, we have a pretty big deck, but I'm only trying to use uh, all of the Shadow Fate cards. I just put in some Lyarian and some other cards that really could benefit me and are really necessary. But not even most of the cards. Let's just give the opponent. I have fun. And yeah, I'm just trying out most of the Shattered Fate cards. Because that's my reason why I'm playing this beta. I want to test them. And I do not even know what all of the abilities mean, like we died or something. I don't even know what that means. Um we drew a fortified wisdom, strike constructed, a backstab, so I attach this to an ally, it get a Ambush and plus two attack, and I draw a card. So that's pretty nice. Uh, attach to opposing ally again. This is like a something like a mind control. Um, we are going to get rid of this one. And our ability says target opposing ally is poisoned, and all of the damage is doubled. So if you poison him and you don't attack him, so he gets one damage from his poison, but that's also doubled. So. Last turn I uh, was playing against an assassin as well, the same ability. And you have that little assassin. Uh, oh my god, I'm so bad at names. <laughs> it's only getting worse. But it's 1 2, and it has stealth and ambush. That's it. Cost 2 resources. So, what is he playing down there? A trap? Oh, this is a bug. I can see what it is. So, this is, uh, this is a bug. Okay, the next ally that I'm going to play is going to die. Target enemy item or ability with cost three or less is destroyed entirely. It's destroyed at the end of your turn. Um, let's see. We're going to sacrifice that and we'll just. What are we going to play? I really would like this little combo here in the end, so let's just keep that. Um, this one is also pretty nice because she can attack twice. Uh, the seductress is also really nice. Uh, well, let's get rid of let's get rid of this one. Can I sacrifice it? Did I already? Let's get play this one. Oh, sorry. What was I doing? I already sacrificed. So we play the seductress and sacrifice it to the trap. And we still have in our hand the ally that can attack two times. It's fortified whips. He got his damage reduced by two. Target ally is returned to its owner's hand. The ally controllers draw two cards. So this just to use on my own allies. Well, at least I was thinking to use that to use on my own allies. And next turn he got his weapon ready. So let's just play this fortified wisp. Yep. Will just end turn yeah. So next turn, if he survives and I'm able to play this one, he gets min minus two health, and this one gets plus three attack. So it'd be a three four, and then he would kill off him and gain one base attack for himself because he kills an ally in combat. That would be very nice if that is going to happen. But let's just see what he's going to play now. Okay. Uh, all opposing heroes and allies take one damage for each ally or creature you control. This one is so pretty nice in late game. Uh, and draw a card. Well, I 
think I'm going to sacrifice that one and play this one, the little combo that we have give him minus why are we going to give minus 2? because we're going to pump him up 6 let's just deal it to him and pump him up This is only for one turn until the two held in tight. Yeah, it's forever. So let's just say we are going to Oh my god. Let's say we are going to do this to him. We're going to make him poisoned and all the damage to him is doubled, so make it six. Right? Or four, whatever. And it's that, and he got plus one base attack, so he's a 4 4 now with a 2 damage reduction. But he loses 2 of those uh, strength points or hit points. No, it's strength points uh, at the start of my turn. Right? Until the end of turn. Uh, friendly has plus 2 attack until the end of turn, but my turn is already over and it has still plus 2 attack. What's this? Opposing allies and the combat you take one fire damage and I set the blaze. Okay, this is pretty nasty here. He's stealing one of my cards. The card that attach to an ally and give Blizzard ambush and plus two attack draw cards. So that's pretty nice for him to steal. And I really hope that uh, we get to see the real picture of the cards. You know, like just like this, my hero here and his hero, or his hero is the original picture. Mine is not, and all of the cards are not, so that's pretty, you know, pretty annoying. And what if someone target opposing ally can't attack or defend? This is also a pretty nice card. Just can't attack or defend. Um, let's skip this. Do we want him dead? That's not a priority yet. Oh, here it is. It's 2 4 now. And this one has 3 damage. I'm going to say set a blaze. How many durability does this have? 3. Let's just remove that, that stupid armor. And. I'm gonna hit him. Or do we want to hit the... What are we Reduce by 2. I don't think I'm going for a 0. He will receive 1 damage now, but... Let's just cast this one and disable him. For 1 turn. So they both set a blaze, but... This one, the Fortified Wisp, will not take damage because... All damage is reduced by 2. So it's a little bit like the Gargoyle. He has reduced by 1 damage, but this one has reduced by 2. So, okay, he has a Sacrificial Lamp in hand. Maybe still the card that he took from me. The attachment for 2 resources, his ally gets plus 2 attack and ambush. Now he's going to sacrifice him for 3 cards, so that's pretty nice. I don't even play a sacrificial lamp. I should add it to this deck. I still should remove some cards because I added some cards that I didn't look to it because they're only for, let's say, uh, specific uh, creature types or ally types. You now you have a lot of cards that only benefit Twilight cards or Twilight allies. And I just added some cards that only benefit like Twilight cards or something. So this one was already spoiled, so they already added the image to the card. So we are at 3 shadow energy now, so we can use our ability next turn. What does this say? This is nice. It's going to just draw a card for me. Target opposing ally is poisoned and set a blaze. That's pretty nasty.
but we can take care of him pretty easily just going to give him the poison and all damage to him is doubled right so he will die by this attack Yep, and she may attack one more time pretty nice ally especially with this uh, ability and attack him for two more but we are a little bit behind here because of the sacrificial lamp and I'm stealing one card from me that was really nasty and this fortified wisp still has some defense left and this is a really cool card that he's going to do you can discard a card and draw two cards that's real nice cool uh, artwork as well this card So let's see what he's going to cost. The same weapon as before. Wow, the thing cost like 7 resources to play normally. What's that? That mage, so we're going to move that one next turn. 4 mana, then we have 1 mana left. 1 resource, sorry. Hmm. Now we could sacrifice him, then we have 6 resources. Play this one. Then we have 7 resources, then we can still play the Lyarian, the Seductress. Uh, to disable something, to disable him I think. Can we move this one? We're all out of cards then. Let's just remove this card, this is really too nasty for me. And we will disable this one. And we will so I'll bring him down to two or attack his hero. Because next turn I can use the ability, and then I only have to attack one and he dies. Mm. I'll just attack him because my ally won't take any damage, so we'll just attack the, the ally. But he has two cards, three cards in hand now, seven resources. Yeah, both of the decks that I play against, both 40 cards, pretty tight decks. And I'm just trying to figure out all of the cards. So I just put a bunch of cards in my deck that I thought they were nice. And of course I looked a bit of the balance of the deck with the number of allies in it. And of course the number of ability cards. And I do think I have a little bit more allies. Of course, you always have a little bit more, but a lot more of allies in my deck. Let's see, we're going to use this ability to poison him, double the damage to him, we'll just crush him. And then we play the Alden. And then we're all out of cards. So this is it guys, I think I'm going to lose. Uh, at least we won the first match. Too bad uh, that I didn't record that. Well, let's see what he's going to do. Going to attack the Alden. New Dead Mage. He's going to draw a card at the end of the turn. Oh, no, what does that say? This is nice, yeah, this is like one card that I added. You cannot play Assassin without Ankle Breaker. Your hero may attack two times in each turn. But why didn't he attack last turn two times, or did he? I don't think he did. I was not paying attention. Um, he has six defense, wow, that's a lot. This one has four. Let's just... Could destroy him. him. Or we could destroy him. Hmm. Do want this one going on pretty much, but hmm. Well, this this one is too nasty, I think. 
this one as well. The world nice. Let's just take him. Disable him and kill him. He gets plus one attack. So this one is all pretty good. <laughs> it's working really, really nice to fortify the wisp. And shall I attack the hero or no? I'll attack him. I think. Yeah, just take him down to one. You can kill it next turn for sure. And it's a victory. He just conceded? Wow. I thought he had like 4 cards in his hand, but that fortified wisp, I tell you guys, the last match, <laughs> it was unstoppable, and in this match it was unstoppable, because he gets 2 damage reduction from spells or abilities, it's really nice. Well, I hope you liked this match, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next match. Cheers!